Hi everyone, if it's your first time seeing my face on your screen, I go by Lato Gort, bringing you all things healthy hair care, whether you're relaxed or natural. In this video, I'll be showing you how I pre-poo my hair and um, how I shampoo my hair after I've pre-pooed with it. I will explain the term in the video, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So I'm just going to divide my hair in half right now and then divide it into smaller sections on either side as I go along. So I'm just going to do that real quick. A pre-poo is basically a treatment that we do before we shampoo our hair. And this process or well, this step is crucial because um, during the shampooing process, basically, like our hair goes through the most because of the chemicals that are found in our shampoos. So a pre-poo helps um, our hair to not get um, stripped too much of its moisture as well as, as its natural moisture that's produced in our scalp, which is called sebum. So that's what a pre-poo does. It just like prepares our hair for that harsh process. So yeah, I'm just going to dunk my fingers into the coconut oil. It's pretty melted, so applying that on my hands wasn't a thing. I'm just going to rub it all over and then apply the coconut oil on my hair from root to tip. We do not neglect our ends with any treatments that we do. The reason for this is because our ends are the oldest part of our hair, so they you know they've been been on our heads for the longest you know period of time so our ends require the most care and the moist mm, the moist <laughs> the most moisture in yeah in any treatments that we do so do not neglect your ends ever I also just want to say that coconut oil isn't the only oil, you know, that you can use for pre-poo. You can use other oils such as virg extra virgin olive oil, castor oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, etc. Coconut oil is just like the recommended oil because it does a good job, but not to say that other oils do not. Um, another thing that people use is conditioner and oil as well as water so mixing those um, ingredients up so i just wanted to clear that up real quick so yeah guys i'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other side so i'm gonna skip through that if you do not mind yeah sipedile. so what i'm gonna do now is just put some on my fingertips and massage my scalp this encourages hair growth blood flow to your head or scalp encourages new follicles to grow so this is how you want to thicken your hair as well just by massaging so yeah other people also do this with castor oil especially castor oil because it's the plug but yeah i'm just going to do that for about three years Hairline I Sally, get a good girl. Oh, yeah. And lastly, I'm just gonna put a plastic cap. So you can do this process for an hour to two hours or overnight, or if you're using heat, 15 to 20 minutes. But I'm just gonna do this process overnight. So that is a literal wrap. I will see you in the next clip where I shampoo my hair. Stay tuned. Okay. So just a disclaimer, I um, actually filmed this um, segment last week, but I'd forgotten to show you how I pre-poo. So I only did that a few days ago. The clip you just saw was from a few days ago. But basically, you know, same thing, different day. So I'll just be showing you how I officially, you know, wash out the the pre-poo and shampoo my hair. The first thing that I do before I shampoo my hair is detangle, like thoroughly, I mean comb everything. 
so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna divide my hair into about four sections two on each side and probably smaller sections within the two sections on either side so I'm gonna wash the pre poo out and then um, while my hair is still drenched in water literally detangle sorry I think now nah, I mean it's playing <laughs> so that is what I'm gonna do now I'll just drench my hair in water and just comb so I'm using a wide tooth comb and I'm combing from the bottom and working my way upwards you know what I mean so I'll start with my ends and then I just work my way up as I go and I hadn't combed my hair in such a long time so yo you might have to divide your hair into much smaller sections so that's what I'm doing and it's yeah a big goa guys wow do not go <laughs> longer than a week without combing your hair OMG if you are relaxed I really wouldn't advise you to detangle with um, wet hair but when you're natural you legit don't have a choice yeah you don't have a choice either wet or like damp but if you're relaxed you can detangle your hair on dry hair so that's just what I'm gonna be doing yeah when you're natural you really want to make sure that you detangle your hair before you shampoo because during the shampooing your hair is gonna get matted tangled and all that stuff so you wanna you know to prevent that you definitely want to detangle your hair prior to shampooing when you relax you really can get away with not doing this but if you're natural yo girl that literally took five years but thank god and breakage galore so now I'm just going to be shampooing my hair with the Tresemme Platinum Strength, my all-time favorite. I mean, I don't want to lie, I've used that much for each section, but I add a lot more as I go along. Yeah, I add way more and I sometimes put it like directly on my scalp not on my hands yeah I'm pretty generous when it comes to the shampoo so as I'm doing this I'm using the my fingertips not nails like I don't scratch my scalp I literally just use the my fingertips when I um, wash my hair so no nail that causes irritation on your scalp for other people it doesn't and I know at the salons they use um, nails but I personally don't do that anymore I don't know if you can tell but I'm actually rubbing the shampoo on my scalp not my actual hair strands the shampoo will get on my hair strands better than but I don't rub it on my hair strands and also I don't rub it on my hairline never ever ever simply because the hairline is very delicate and much more vulnerable and prone to dryness and brittleness from the shampoo itself I finished the other side off camera so basically this is how I pre-poo and shampoo my hair if you like these types of videos or if you don't please let me know and also stay tuned for um, that video after this one which is where I'll be showing you how I treat my hair with protein and deep condition afterwards I'll also be explaining how to know when to do a protein treatment versus a deep condition so I will see you then bye